Hi guys, how you doing today? It was nice talking to you yesterday. We'll get to do it again on Wednesday. Question, what would you do if you had a million legs like this poor guy? How would you buy shoes? What about if they were hands instead? How would you buy gloves? What kind of shirt would you wear that has that many arms? That is seriously going to be a problem. But bugs that have legs like that, they don't have to worry about those things because they come with their own protective shell. Maybe we would too if we had that many. We have thousand feet. We have millipedes. We have centipedes. We have roly polies or so bugs that have like 12 to 16 different pairs of feet. These are the ones that we get out in the playground. You know, the ones we collect that are round like a ball. They aren't actually bugs, believe it or not. They are crustaceans. They're like lobsters and shrimp. I don't know how they live on land, but they tell me that they stay real wet inside their little shell when they roll up. And they breathe through gills. Gills like a fish. And like a lobster. And they have little feelers that wiggle back and forth. But they can't fly. So we collect them. But we have to remember that we have to keep them wet and moist now. When, it, when we catch them in the playground, we have to take them. We have to put them in a little moist stuff like some dirt or some wet leaves. And we can hold on to them. Today, let's see what we can do. Lift up a flat stone that's lying on moist earth. And move a cardboard box that's been laying on the ground, and you'll see them. They'll be in there. Yesterday, we didn't get outside because it snowed out on us. I couldn't believe it. So today, you have time. I'm sure you can get out there and do a little exploring in your backyard, on the sidewalk. I'm sure when the temperature gets higher, that we'll be able to search. Don't just search for these bugs, but search for other bugs too. Ants, they should be coming up. I don't think you're gonna see any butterflies and moths yet because they're busy right now. They're just little seeds on leaves. Or some are still attached to the side of your tree. If you look around, you might see a cocoon glued right to the side of the tree just waiting for the spring to come. If you look in the, do you have a garden? If you have a garden at home, you check your garden. See if there's anything under the dirt. I'm sure there is. I found, I found worms the other day. I found a couple of centipedes. What else did I find? I didn't find any roly polies in my yard. I don't know why. They were ants. They're starting to come out. We will look around. We'll see what we can find. You told me your favorite bugs yesterday. And of all the favorite bugs, one of them isn't really a bug. It was a worm. Maya had said a worm. And it turned out when I looked up the worm, the worm is an invertebrate and it's not considered a bug. I couldn't, I didn't know that myself, so I learned a little bit about that today. I will look in here, but I couldn't find a worm. What we'll do is I will find a book on a worm, and I will tell you all about worms on Friday. Okay? But for now, we will do roly-polies. We will look for worms in the ground. We'll look for centipedes. Do you think you could catch one? Mine got away. So if you look around, remember, don't scare people with them. And always 
what does Mr. Bob say? Everything matters. We don't squish them. We keep them. Like when we catch them in the school, we take them and we put them outside where they, where they can keep living. Because they can't live, in the, can't live in the school if there's no food on the ground. Okay? So be nice to the bugs. The bugs have a purpose as well. Let me know what you find. What I'd like you to do today is you could draw a picture of you as a bug. Yesterday, I asked you to take the number eight and turn it into a bug. If you did, if you drew a picture of it, you could post it at my email address or save it for when we all get together. Tomorrow, online, you can hold your picture up and show it to me. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. I'm going to let you go. Explore your yard today. Explore the sidewalk. Explore the trees. If you have trees in your yard, look around them. Listen for the birds. Look for the bugs. Okay? You all have a nice day. I'll do a story in a little while. Okay. Take care.